Over here, you have a pendulum bob that is attached to a string which is about 120 cm. Next, you have a split cork here. Some comes in two halves, but for this case, they just make a cut, a slit, all the way to the center of the cork. So what you need to do is just place the string in the slit so as to secure the pendulum bob. Now, just think of this, if the slit is in this direction, make sure that your swing, your oscillation will be perpendicular to the slit. If it's parallel to the slit, there might be some, the string might move inside the cork and this causes a very unstable kind of oxidation or swing later on. So right now you put the cork, secure it to the clamp and if the loose end, you did not put it properly, it might interfere with the swing or oxidation. Okay, so what you need to do is just to make sure it's out of the way, put it at the back of the retort stand and then you let go of the pendulum to see that if the swing is stable. Next, to measure the length of the pendulum bob, okay, so let's say it's 20 cm, you'll be given a meter rule. So you put one end of the meter rule with the zero marking underneath the cork. And what you need to do is to loosen the clamp a little bit so that the string can be adjusted but not too loose because you do not want the pendulum bob to just drop down. So you pull the pendulum bob to the required length which is 20 cm marking. Take note the 20 cm marking must be to the center of the pendulum bob. So it's from the top underneath the cork all the way to the center of the pendulum bob 20 cm mark. That will be the length that you set. So you tighten up the clamp so that the length of the pendulum bob will not change when you do the swinging or oxidation later on. The next thing is about the angle of release. It has to be small angle, so approximately 10 to 15 degree that will do. Whether you release at 10 or 11 degree, it doesn't make any difference to the time taken for the oxidation or the period. Why does it have to be small angles? Because if it's small angle, the speed of the pendulum bob will not be too fast. Therefore, air resistance is considered negligible. If the angle is very big, as you can see here, the speed of the pendulum is actually quite fast. So air resistance is significant and the swing will become unstable after a while. So just take note, just a small angle will do. Next, get ready the stopwatch, but do not start the stopwatch when you release the ball. Instead, release it, make sure that the swing is stable and in plane. Once you're satisfied, then you can start the timing now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. So that will be the timing for 10 oscillation. Let it be T1. You can repeat the experiment again to find T2 for 10 oscillation and then you take the average.